Well, let's start at the beginning, I guess. Whatever you, right. you, whatever. We're not going to look at everything, obviously, but just whatever you want to talk about. Yeah, this this one I definitely have some stuff to say about. They started releasing these 50 horror packs, and uh, <laughs> so you get 50 movies for about thirty dollars or something, which comes to uh, well, oh. <laughs> maybe like less, of, less than a dollar or thirty cents a movie. But they're all public domain movies, mm. and they're the shittiest shittiest movies you'll ever yeah, see. Yeah, like the Screaming Skull is on here. Yeah. <laughs> Except, you know what, you will find like like classics, like Nosferatu's on there. Abominable Snowman, that's Hammer. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Uh, you got Alf. Yeah, season four, of course. Uh, <laughs> season, was that a good season? Or? It was the worst. If you, if, if, <laughs> and this is actually really good. I would recommend buying this. It looks good. It has a lot of trailers, and it's all monster movies. That's a real awesome DVD, <laughs> DVDs here. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, these are the best DVDs that I own. Attack of the Puppet People. Oh, these are great. These midnight, uh... Yeah. These midnight movies. I have a lot of those, DVDs. too. Uh, Adam Age Vampire. Yeah, that's a bad movie. Then. Uh, awesome video games. Oh, they're awesome. awesome. video games. <laughs> <laughs> Basket Case 3 is kind of a rare DVD. Like, you know, see how this <laughs> yeah. is all, like, in this, yeah. like cool like sepia tone thing right. well they basically did this trying to make it look like batman look like begins <laughs> but people would buy this it's nothing like uh, oh that's what know. they did so people would get it confused <laughs> and this is the 1949 uh oh, yeah. collection which is a lot like the uh, the older serials uh batman the movie in my personal favorite batman movie Bella Lugosi collection. This is good. This yeah. is the one that has the black cat and the it's got raven. The raven, yeah. Invisible Ray, actually, I like as well. Black Friday sucks. Bella Lugosi box set. It's got 15 movies on there. Basically, I had to like, like right on here, like one, two, three, four, five, six. So I knew like which was on. Like this is all on disc one. This is oh, on they disc don't tell two. you because because I hate like when DVDs suck like that. Billy the Kid versus Dracula, a really bad movie. This is basically just like a cowboy movie. With, oh, with John Carradine. Yeah. Horrible movie. Probably the worst Frankenstein movie, definitely. Uh, Black Sheep. Uh, it's like a sheep horror movie. <laughs> the Blob, classic. Uh, uh, the 80s Blob. I don't really like the 80s Blob that much. The Boneyard. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, that's a movie where the, the fucking dog doesn't even show up until the last 10 minutes. <laughs> hey, do you file Boris Karloff under B or, or K? Uh, I file DVDs on... Like the first letter, usually, yeah. wh whatever it is. The Brain, we did that. Oh, The Brain. Uh, brain from Planet Arrows. <laughs> oh, you got all the Brain movies here. Oh, of course. Uh, oh, The Brack Show, the holy Brack shit. Show, volume one. I hate movies or DVDs that don't have the trailer. If you're gonna fucking put something on DVD, always include the trailer. Oh, that's that's actually a pretty entertaining movie there, The Car. The Car. It's just the car that's going around killing people, basically. Look what happens here, how this comes out. That just pisses me oh, off. Oh, what? Oh, it's got the... Uh, I guess oh, I'm really, I'm really anal that. about it. You know, it's got the pop-out thing. All these Of the Dead movies kind of confuse people because they're not all related to the, you know, Romero films. What do so, you like better, Close Encounters or E.T.? Close Encounters, uh, Curse of the Faceless Man. What is that? Uh, it's just like this crappy horror movie, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they released those together. That's weird. Dawn yeah. of the Dead and Land of the Dead? Hmm. It's like a special DVD, probably cheaper that way or something. Day the Earth is still one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, probably like the greatest science fiction movie ever made. One of them. Yeah. Uh, Dead Alive, one of the goriest movies ever yeah. made. Dinosaurs. Naughty Mama. <laughs> okay, Disney Treasures. Uh, I guess I'll go through them real quick. But anyway, uh, then you get Mickey Mouse. Uh, the color, you know, the black and white and then the color. Then Donald Duck, chronological. And then we come over here. I like Goofy the best. That was yeah, my favorite. Yeah, I'm getting to Goofy. <laughs> Disney Rarities. This has the old stuff, uh, 19 from the 1920s, like the yeah. silent cartoons. There's a guy I know who collects all kinds of crazy uh, silent animation, and he actually has. Uh, and I think they even took some of uh, his prints for this DVD. Uh, cartoons on film. You can look him up on the internet, and he's got all these, and he's got them for sale. Great. My favorite uh, yeah. goofy cartoon is Hockey Homicide. Oh, the that hockey the, cartoon. Where like, the hockey game's going like out of control. Yeah. Like... Wrestling Women versus the uh, Aztec Mommy. I love these something weird video covers. They're just great. This DVD has a lot of... I love of, Droopy. I love Droopy too, and I love Tex Avery. And, but this particular DVD has a lot of uh, DVNR issues, and that means uh, digital video noise reduction. 
And what that means basically is when you watch the cartoons on your TV, uh, like the black lines of like the characters in the cartoons get like fucked up when you're watching it. Droopy I, I recommend Droopy and Tex Avery. Tex Avery's awesome, but I don't recommend this particular DVD. Anyway, uh, Dracula Legacy Collection. This is the version, unfortunately, mm. that doesn't have the screams. I would recommend well, getting true. the other one. But we it did the but full it, uh, commentary in case anybody yeah, wants to know. But this does have like a lot of the other movies, so yeah. I, I still recommend it. So look up our Dracula commentary for more info <laughs> yeah. on that. Yeah, really. Uh, Dracula, the Dirty Old Man. Wow, I've seen that is a fucked up movie. <laughs> uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde has the. You know, 1932 and 1941 yeah. version. As much as I love Spencer Tracy, I think the original with uh, Frederick March is the best. Yeah, I agree. Speaking oh, of... Oh, speaking uh, of... Yeah, I, I knew exactly yeah. what you were going to do. Speaking of those two actors, uh, Frederick March Put, put and... that closer. You see, all right, that's Spencer Tracy, and this guy... Yeah. Is Frederick March. Yeah, this is a pretty good movie, by the way. Yeah, you, you are always talking too much about Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I can tell you that. <laughs> My favorite Steven Spielberg movie, Duel. It's a great movie. Uh, it's funny that you have two Tim Burton, Johnny Depp movies because they're both so alphabetically uh, connected. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, that could be more perfect, actually. But King Creole isn't bad. It has Walter Matthau, and... Uh, it's black and white, and it's nicely shot. So if you ever want to see Elvis in an acting movie, I guess I'd recommend that one. Elvis 68 Comeback Special, when it came back in 1968. This is great. Everybody should buy this. Uh, like, all these movies. Like, when he's an actor, basically, it sucks. But when Elvis is being Elvis, you know, <laughs> he's awesome. Uh, Extra Weird Sampler. This is a cool DVD because it's got all these trailers on it. There's actually more trailers on the DVD after it. So this thing isn't even all of them and from what I watched it must have been three hours at least but there is a every single trailer is a different track on the DVD so I can't even like bring up a status to show um, how long it is and there's no runtime listed anywhere on here so I couldn't even finish it because it was so fucking long some yeah. of it's kind of porn though yeah, yeah. There's new yeah and just stuff. oh there's a trailer on here uh called like the erotic adventures of zorro and it's hilarious do you remember that one yeah well, i should show you that later or something there's one where it's like a woman with like these huge tits <laughs> killing people like with, with oh her tits. i remember that i remember yeah. that yeah yeah like, these dvds are awesome oh, those are great uh out of all my dvds i own if i could recommend anything probably i would recommend these because these like most people probably don't know about these dvds and they're fucking awesome. They have like so many classic uh, horror trailers on them. Crawl. Crawl. There's a crappy movie. Looney Tunes Golden Collection. Uh, the Manster. Oh man, that that's a pretty shitty movie. The Manster. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much this movie is a Star Wars uh, ripoff, but pretty funny. You know, with uh, Metropolis and a lot of these silent films, the best one to get is the Kino version. Monkey Shines. Yeah, Monkey Shines. Uh, Alice Cooper Monster Dog. I tried watching this terrible movie. That's like the best DVD cover ever. I still well, have to say that. Well, that's one of the best DVDs ever. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> the Mr. Rogers DVD comes in a red cardigan. <laughs> You're like, won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> that's like the the Bubba Hotep DVD that came in like an Elvis suit. Like the oh, DVDs yeah. in the uh, the old dark house is one of those universal horror movies, which is not on a universal DVD. It's a Kino DVD. Um, this is another expensive DVD, but it's also one of the greatest spookiest horror movies. I agree. Ever. I actually love this movie. You know, Pee Wee's Playhouse, uh, the TV series. You know, Crazy Show, Paul Rubens. One of my favorite movies. That's in my top ten favorite movies of all time. Uh, love it. Great movie. Uh, one of Tim Burton's best movies. Every like episode of this show like sucks but <laughs> but like if, don't be ridiculous yeah, don't be ridiculous but i mean the last few seasons like if you do watch this show the last few seasons are like almost unwatchable they should at least release the third and fourth seasons and then after that they don't have to release it but at least like make one more set and release the third and fourth seasons well they finally got around the season one of family matters <laughs> yeah james has this movie on 16 millimeter which is yeah. awesome if you like flash gordon serials you know, I know like a lot of people aren't into like westerns and stuff, but if you like Flash Gordon, you'd like this. Now that's uh, a movie. This is a crazy fucking movie. I I could talk about this for a long time, but I'll just say that uh, it's kind of like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah, it's kind of like Rocky Horror Picture, but this came before Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, we watched <laughs> that together. That that is a horrible movie. Because first of all, 
And yeah, it's the DVD cover and the title that ruins it because the movie is not about pigs. There's probably like. 10 seconds of pigs in the movie. The, the real problem with this movie is when you watch it, it's so dark that you can't even see anything. That's another problem. So the whole time you're looking at it and you're just basically looking at a dark black screen. And, you're, and it's just... <laughs> it's so dark. It's you like... might as well just turn the lights off and stare at the wall. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Pink Panther cartoon collection. Uh, so. Yeah, so it's like if you ever wanted to know where the Pink Panther came from, came from the intro of a live... An animated intro of a live action movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, of course, there was, like, what, six or seven or... Yeah, and now they're making them with Steve Martin, and those are terrible. To tell you the truth, I like uh, Return of the Pink Panther. That's that's my favorite one, actually. Oh, cool, yeah. yeah. And a problem with that is it's another one of those situations where different companies, like, own... Like, I think... uh, It's not on the the actual, like, box set that has Yeah, this is the one that isn't on it, but I specifically bought this because it's my favorite one. Okay, we've just taken the time to illustrate the situation, but the Halloween movies basically followed the same... Uh, sequence as the um, Pink Panther, the Pink Panther movie. So we have Return of Michael Myers, Return of Pink Panther. These are both the fourth movie, and then the fifth movies was Revenge of Michael Myers, Revenge <laughs> of Pink Panther. And actually, Mike does not have the next Pink Panther, but it was Curse of Pink Panther, and we have Curse of Michael Myers. <laughs> it was uh, a crazy movie. This is a crazy fucking trauma movie, and it's hilarious. And then we have Real Ghostbusters, the complete collection. Like, look at the quality of this. This is, comes in, like, a tin, and it's by Time Life, and they did a great job on these DVDs. Uh, so out of all the 80s animation DVDs, this is by far the best box set. That Return is a, of the Living Dead. A must-see zombie movie, Return yeah. of the Living Dead. Just... I love this movie. Ricky O, the story of Ricky. Ooh, that is one of the goriest films ever made. Yeah, along with, like, Dead Alive. This is, has so much gore in it. Uh, Rodan and War of the Gargantuas. Um... Oh, yeah, I have that, too. That's a good... It's uh, a cool set. I like all those Toho DVDs. Yeah, so do I. Sam Katzman is an icon of horror. He is an icon of horror. <laughs> the giant claw. The werewolf. Creature with the atom brain. Uh, the... That's a really good uh, collection. That's all the universal 50s sci-fi movies. Oh, Sesame Street, Street Old School, which has all the older... Um... Volume 2. Silent Night, Bloody Night, and Silent Night, Deadly Night. Both are, like, Christmas-themed horror movies. Slither's a great movie. The, the effects are really good. For... These are, like, uh, if you ever watch Pee-wee's Playhouse and Pee-wee shows cartoons, King Cartoons was Blackula. The King of Cartoons was Blackula. There you go. There's a fact for you. Son of Kong is actually a really good sequel. It's, uh, it's rushed. That's the only problem. It, it, it's a good sequel, but it could have been better if they didn't try to release it the same year as the first one. <laughs> like They you know, would have spent like another year on it. Maybe. Yeah, you know, if you're making a sequel, give it a year or two, you know? Especially a sequel to King Kong. Uh, okay, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Uh, hilarious, you know, show. Speaking of Space Ghost, this is the original uh, series. Oh, okay, where, you have it. Yeah. Uh, it's funny to watch that. <laughs> Actually, to see like to see Brack actually be evil and all. Yeah, that. and like not being like yeah, not being like singing like, songs. Like, hey, I'm Brack, <laughs> baloney sandwich. James actually talked to John Landis about this, yeah. at, to, like a horror convention. Yeah. I forget, what did you say? Something like. Well, I asked uh, him. I told him my favorite still that existed of him was the um, "Breathing Fire" from Spontaneous Combustion. Yeah, he didn't seem and too like, thrilled that you brought that up. Okay, here's all the Star Trek movies. Uh, I miss the VHS Star Trek movies. Uh, I think those are better because they, they make the Enterprise on the side. <laughs> oh, so you have all the Next Generation? Yeah, it's Star Trek The Next Generation, which is a good show, and I would recommend watching the TV show over the, the Next Generation movies. The TV show is better. Okay, here's the Superman movies with uh, Christopher Reeve. Uh, you know, good movies. The fourth one sucks. <laughs> Superman movies. Uh, here's the theatrical Superman collection, uh, the serial collection. Here's the Tales from the Crypt, the complete series. You know, great show. Terra Firmer. Uh, yeah. Terror this movie's Firmer. fucking crazy. The Thing, and then and then the uh, 80s version of The Thing. Uh, I like both versions. The original I like better, but they're both good. Uh, Thundercats, <clears throat> the complete series. They also had Thundercats on FHE. Uh, and they, they basically had the small box Thundercats tapes. Look, FHE. FHE. FHE was like the 80s. They were. Look. Uh, cartoon like company and transformers those oh. are awesome look how huge those tapes are yeah these are the big box and they had uh transformers um i think they also did gi joe 
Like, this is the small box version, and oh. then there was the big box version. And back in the 80s, when you would... Basically, the deal with the big box stuff is... That wasn't just for cartoons. It was uh, horror movies, too. When mm. you would go into uh, uh, video rental stores in the 80s, you know, when you would rent a movie, they would just give you the tape in a plastic case. But when you yeah. went into the store, through the horror section... Um, they would have big box horror things, and basically that was try to try to at attract people's eyes. So if you saw like a big awesome case like this, you'd be like, "Wow, I want to rent this." Uh, Icon's a sci-fi uh, Toho collection. This is pretty cool. Oh man, that you know that that is a contender for a goriest film ever made, possibly. <laughs> I mean, if you want to see like a crocodile vagina like <laughs> ripping off like somebody's penis and like blood spraying everywhere, like this is a fucked up movie yeah it's really fucked up oh remember the part where like the, the car like rips the guy in half like they have like the hands oh, yeah. tied to the car and the crazy movie transformers the movie is the only good theatrical 80s cartoon that was made into a movie treasure island uh the first live action disney movie and this is a great movie uh, Treasure of the Sahara Madre, uh, uh, Indiana Jones influence. Classic movie. Do you know something that about Turtles Three? Is that everybody always used to call it Turtles in Time, and it's it's not. It does not have a subtitle. But now that they've released it on Blu-ray, they've actually called it Turtles in Time. I actually saw that uh, just recently. And That's a good box, and yeah. I have that too. And my favorite movie over there is The Body Snatcher. That's a good one. And Vertigo. Great movie. War of the Worlds, the original, and then the not as good version, <laughs> basically. The, the, the original is one of the greatest sci fi movies. It is. Uh, Wayne's World, Wayne's World 2. Second one's not quite as good, but I like the second one. There you go. That's all That's all you need, really. Have you watched that? I want to see that. I haven't seen it yet, but that's all you, that's all you really need is werewolves on motorcycles. What, <laughs> what else do you need? Uh, okay, this is the Willy Wonka. Uh, original release DVD. I think this is like a kind of rare DVD now. Uh, you know, great movie, Willy Wonka. Wing Commander, based off the video game. And I think the video game had uh, Mark Hamill, I think, doing the voice. Don't you have that? Oh, I yeah, you know what? It's, it's Wing Commander 3 on 3DO. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> and it also has Malcolm McDowell in it. Uh, Wizard of Oz, one of the greatest movies ever made. Who framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, the Wolfman Legacy Collection, great set. Woody Woodpecker, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, I would recommend get, at least getting the first one, because those, those are great cartoons. Un underrated. Yogi Bear Collection. Young Frankenstein. Yeah, Gene Wilder. Uh, Zorro Rides Again. This is the Zorro, Zorro Film Collection. The Serial. The Serial. Well, it's one of the serials. There's another one called Zorro's Fighting Legion. Okay. And last but not least, uh, Zelda, the complete animated series. Uh, you know, uh, what does he always say? <laughs> well, excuse <laughs> me, princess. This is Mike's DVD collection. We've, we just went through them all. Been filming for uh, one hour and uh, 45 minutes. So please excuse any shaky camera work because my arms are very tired from holding this camera. But anyway, that's your, your collection's a lot more organized than mine. It's like alphabetical all the way to the end.